The Ontario Autism Coalition is insisting families impacted by autism in this province are facing a crisis when it comes to lack of care and resources. Well, this follows a report last week that while 20,000 families are receiving support, there are 60,000 in need, and that number is growing. Tony Stravato is the Vice President of Operations at the uh, Autism Ontario Coalition and joins us live with more on this. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Tony. I know that there's so many families out there in Ontario that continue to struggle, that they're just not getting the resources uh, that their child with autism needs. How bad uh, is this problem and, and what are you hoping to see from the, the provincial government? Well, I think um, everything we've been saying for the past four years how bad it is was confirmed in those briefing notes to the minister. Um, there's thousands of families that are in crisis right now and there's a lot this government can do. Um, we've been trying desperately for the last several years to have a working relationship with this government um, to get this program right. Unfortunately, it hasn't worked out the way we wanted it to. Um, this program is underserving um, it's not a needs-based program like they intended it to be uh, we had a needs-based program it was completely dismantled at that time there was 23,000 kids on the wait list now we're we're pushing up close to 60,000 kids tell us a little bit more about how this funding falls short uh, especially when it comes to uh, you know how much money families are getting versus how much the uh, the help that they actually need and, and what that costs well um, when these therapies are prescribed they could be up to ninety a hundred thousand dollars a year um, the maximum you can get at a certain age level, and the age level is cut off at 10 for the $65,000, and then as soon as you turn 10, it drops down to $41,000. Um, this program is based on age, um, not need. Autism never ends, and the challenge is, you know, they come and go as the years go. Your needs couldn't change, so at the age of 12, you could need more than when you're four years old. So that's why we were advocating for a needs-based program. What we have now is a program that is based on age, and it's decided by a checklist on a yearly dawn. That's not we wanted clinicians to be involved, so that this program was, you know, fiscally responsible. Because if you start just giving people amounts based on their age, it's not always spent in the right way. We know that this wait list continues to grow uh, by thousands every year. What are your short-term and your long-term concerns about not only the people that are on the wait list but the people that are currently receiving this funding just but they're they're not receiving enough what's your what's your direct concerns about what, what could potentially happen with with many of these kids we are we are in crisis we're potentially setting back generations of, of children by not providing the proper supports either if you're already in the program and you're not um, receiving the amount that you need. But there's thousands of kids that, there's kids that have been waiting still since 2018. So anybody who's diagnosed now, when is that ever gonna come? We're gonna be, there's generations of children that will not get the therapies that they were prescribed and it's only gonna affect the future. And it, we don't know how to, to get this caught up unless the government is willing to back to the table and we work this out we have a reasonable um, we need a budget increase obviously this is not cutting it but even though the budget is at 667 million that's not all for core services that's everything to do with the Ontario autism program so really the budget for core is probably half what is government so we we have to be able to work with them on that. What has been the response from uh, the provincial government when you address these concerns? Um, honestly, for the last few years, there's been very little response. Um, we have a new minister that we um, we welcomed in, in March. Um, communication was much better at the time, um, but it's still the same response. We go with solutions. We want action, we're going to talk. 
Tony Stravato, Vice President of uh, Operations at the Ontario Autism Coalition. Uh, we appreciate your time. A very important conversation. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.